All right, hello and welcome back. This is T.S. Wolf. We're playing some Minecraft today. Um, don't really have a whole lot planned besides possibly going down through, finishing out a little bit of this little bit of a mine here. Um, I did off camera kind of just go ahead and pick up some things on the outside. I chopped down some trees, as you can see here, picked up some saplings. I've got uh, some extra wood just in case we need it. Um, went ahead, made some torches, and lit up the dark spots that I left. Uh, sorry for you guys not being able to see down there. Um, I got to get used to the idea of just because I can see doesn't mean you can't, or that you can. Um, lucked out and got a couple apples, so we might turn those into something, or maybe just eat them in a pinch. But uh, for now, I think we're just going to go ahead and mine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more, maybe one more pickaxe, and I'm going to hold off on an iron shovel just yet. Um, I think that we should be getting pretty close to diamond level in here is the only reason why I wanted to stick around for a little while. Um, see if maybe we can pick up some diamonds or some more iron before we make the big jump. And I want to go ahead and slide that in there. And let's just make some more torches real quick just to make sure that we have them because I know that we will need them. And that looks good to me. All right. And down we go. So uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first two videos. I don't, uh, like I said, necessarily have any plans as of yet. Nothing's really popped out at me. Um, so anybody that's watching, if you have any ideas of where to start or if you, you see anywhere, um, you know, just kind of notice where it is in the video and uh, in your comments, just let me know, hey, um, go back and look and see where such and such is at this point in time and uh, I'll see if I can find it. If I can find it, then we'll set up shop there. Let's, let's do this together a little bit. Um, as I said, I don't have anything really truly planned. I kind of have some ideas of what I want to do, but I don't have anywhere set in stone that I want to build yet. Um, I don't necessarily you know, have it set in my mind. Okay, well, I want to find a spot where a swamp meets a Great Plains or you know, where there might be some ocean and things like that. Of course, I do have plans. I do want to go through, do some ocean monuments. I have not had the chance to do those yet since they added them. So eventually there will be a trip into the nether. Um, there will be an end battle. Um, there will be some monument battling. You know, I plan on doing the survival, you know, beating the game, getting to the end, beating the end, but I don't have it set in stone where I want to set up shop, what I want to be home base anything like that. So um, I could always just stay here. Um, I don't necessarily want to do that. I want to find a nice setup um, between a couple different biomes so that I have the materials ready. And I want to build. Um, that's something that I don't usually do. Um, whenever I'm playing on my own, I go ahead, I get set up somewhere, I build, you know, some things, a little overkill of the area. And we're getting down to lava level here. But I'll do some overkill of the area in the sense of, um, you know, I'll build things further away than they need to be to be maximum efficiency. Um, I enjoy doing that. It helps with the aesthetic that I talked about last episode. Um, also, something I started talking about and didn't finish, um, whenever I was talking about the modded Minecraft and, and what I like as far as the aesthetic. Hello, a little bit of a cave, maybe. Um, you know, like the big skyscrapers or modern world look. Um, I just never got into it. I never really did it. Uh, never really was good at it. Maybe that's why. But all right, here we go. Here's some content for you guys. It looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a cave, and there's some diamonds. So hooray! First diamonds on camera. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. I've got an iron pickaxe, so we'll take care of that as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And. Looks like we're going to have enough. We can go ahead and get some obsidian too, maybe, if I decide to turn that into a pick. Um, so just to make sure that I'm done for here, I'm going to dig this out just a little bit, pick up some more cobble. I do really like building with um, stone blocks, so you will see me randomly and possibly off camera just um, mining a bunch of cobble. Um, I've been known to waste a bunch of uh, silk touch picks just to get the cobble without wasting the, uh, or to get the the smooth stone without having to waste all the coal. Um, I really do enjoy the look of smooth stone. There's some more diamonds, nice. So already this is a successful episode. I think I've uh, I've picked up a good bit. Don't fall in the lava. Do not fall in the lava. So let me. Um, 
um, just kind of slide that there a little bit. Get a little caught up. Okay. Here I can just kind of do that. So, all right. Well, I want to kind of keep exploring just a little bit. I know I at least want to get over to those diamonds. Um, so, ooh, it's deep, and then not so deep. I can hear some zombies, and hopefully you guys can hear the sounds. Um, I had some complaints that the game sounds kind of go away. Um, they shouldn't be. Right, I'm kind of getting nervous with this lava here, so just go ahead and light this up. Zombies and skeletons. So, of course, as soon as you find lava, you or diamonds, you have to worry about that. Um, I'm going to attack this in just a minute, because I don't have any armor, and I kind of feel a little bit worrisome about that so while I'm here looks like six seven eight diamonds to start us off with and just just to double check eight diamonds to start off with awesome I'm very happy with that and it comes right down at the bottom of our mine we don't have to go off in multiple directions so it's gonna be easy to keep track of where I'm going so this is about as easy and stress-free of caving as you can come to. Um, start off immediately at diamond level. Um, it's just a, a straight shot off where you were digging down. Um, you don't have to fork off into a couple different directions, so that's good. I like that a lot. This pleases the TS Wolf. Um, you probably will hear me say that a lot. That's kind of a throwback to a buddy of mine, uh, Herman Goring is his Minecraft handle. Um, he's the guy actually that I had talked about last episode maybe doing some multiplayer with. Um, hopefully that doesn't offend anyone. Um, if you don't know who Herman Goring is, you can research it. Um, he's kind of a, a cheeky guy. And, uh, you know, look that up. Wikipedia's free. I don't want to go into it because I honestly don't know fully um, who and what uh, Herman Goring was all about. I know that he was famous, a famous scientist for something that had to do with the Holocaust. Uh, I, that's all I'm going to say. I'm also going to go ahead and leave the disclaimer of I do not agree any at all with the Holocaust. I don't believe that any of that was a um, touchy subject here. Uh, <laughs> necessary, obviously. I don't... Um, condone anything that happened there, and I think that it was one of the biggest travesties in, um, you know, mankind has ever done to the rest of mankind. Um, I think that that goes without saying, but just to clarify, and so that whenever I do start getting massive amounts of views, uh, which I do anticipate someday, uh, then I don't have people go back and look at this and stop viewing me because they think that my opinion is this. I mean, everyone's entitled to their own. I have a friend who certain sits one way or the other but just because he sits one way or the other does not mean I do we can all coexist right we can all get along no matter where we come from what our political beliefs are but enough trying to be politically correct for me right now we'll just move on um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this coal just because I know that I'll need it like I said before I love the smooth stone I love the look of stone brick and in order to do that, you have to have smooth stone. So, and just to go ahead and save my own butt there, we'll go ahead and plant that. So, getting a couple of uh, subscribers now. It's that's pretty, pretty uh, interesting and fascinating. Um, definitely makes me feel good. I'm gonna run this way just to make sure. I'm gonna stay away from the redstone for now. I've got some, but I don't want to risk lava. I'm going to go up here and make a bucket, make some armor, and get ready because it looks like we've got a hell of an adventure in store for us today. Man, how much iron did I already get? 23? That's not bad. I already had like, you know, high 20s, maybe low 30s. Um, so, holding up some iron. Um, I may not have enough room in my inventory for what we already have. I may have to 
march the way and make a couple trips do that off camera probably but you know let me know um, what you want to see on and off camera if you want to see all of it the nitty-gritty or if you just want to see um, you know the adventure kind of stuff or the a little bit of both um, maybe some of the off-camera stuff I can still do and just speed up um, I forgot to set a timer today so I don't know um, how long this video is going to be um, I'll probably here in about five or ten minutes cut and just do a sign off and then come back um, do the sign on and then off again on that episode just to kind of give it some continuity um, I said last episode that I didn't know what I was going to do but I think that I want to be able to give everyone um, viewing the nicety of okay you know this is it for the episode come back please like subscribe so on and so forth and uh, we'll figure everything out kind of as we go we're going through this together so I know that I've got a couple guys already that um, are watching <laughs> actually are friends of mine um, that are watching and have subscribed um, and I've got a mystery subscriber as well so um, I know that the friends of mine who are kind of supporting me through this um, see will go uh, is one of them um, you know people that I went to high school with that you know I ke have kept in touch with um, through the years um, you know, I want to make sure that they get to enjoy watching so that they don't get bored with it and stop watching um, I got a couple buddies. Herman Goring is watching. I know that. So there's there's two there um, that I know are watching, and there's some name drops for you guys um, for maybe future days we can all play together. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But uh, I'm gonna just clean this little bit of gravel out. I like to use it for pathways, and uh, hopefully that sound is not overpowering me. If it is, I'm not gonna be able to do a lot with it. So the only thing I can do to fix it right now because I'm recording on the same track is, that's not what I want, bring the volume down. I'm not going to bring it down as low as it was before. Gotcha. All right. So I've got a little bit of everything. I'm going to go ahead and keep digging this gravel out for now. I'm excited for this cave. I think that... Uh, I, I'm going to be honest with you, um, you already know I'm a fanboy of B00100, so I uh, went back and watched some of his first episodes, his building with B00 season one. Um, I really en enjoyed watching it and kind of seeing him as a, a new YouTuber, new to recording, um, you know, and, and you can kind of quickly see how he progresses. By episode 16 or so, he starts to kind of turn into the B-double-O that we all know and love, uh, or that I know and love. I don't know if, you, if anybody out there watching me is a fan. If you're not, you should go check him out. I'm not getting paid to plug him. I just like plugging him. Um, but make sure that you come back, because his content is going to be a lot better than mine. He's been doing this for a lot longer. Um, make sure you come back and see how I progress. And, uh, you know, it was, like I said, rewarding for me to watch him progress, especially knowing what he had has become, and uh, he's actually on my featured bar along with a couple of the guys from the Minecraft server. Uh, also on there is uh, Blitz Craigler, Blitz Blitz Craigsler. I'm hoping that's said right. I always forget. Um, Blitz is one of those guys that's uh, active on the subreddit uh, for Let's Plays, and uh, he's kind of a real down-to-earth. He plays a lot of indie games and things like that, but I always liked watching his videos. Um, I had seen some of his stuff, and then um, he started playing Ark, and I wanted to play Ark, and I still want to play Ark, but I cannot play Ark. Um, I'm playing on an iMac, so uh, unfortunately, um, I cannot upgrade my CPU. Um, I don't want there to be a big debate, PC or Mac, so I'm just going to leave it at this. I purchased an iMac, so that I could use it for retouching and for my photo business and it has done everything that I've wanted it to do. Um, it is now three years old almost and the GPU is finally starting to lag behind the games that are coming out. Um, unfortunately with um, some of the Mac products they hardwire and solder the GPU into the motherboard which means I could change it but I void any warranty 
and I'm not the most computer savvy person. Another reason why I went ahead and got Mac, um, because I want it to work without having to. Ooh, maybe another cape. I want it to work without having to, you know, constantly be running diagnostics and, and making sure that everything is in tip top shape. Um, I know that I can turn it on every day. I can you know, load it up every day and it's going to work just like it did the day before. I can download things that I need to download. I can, you know, go looking for and do research on sites, not have to worry about different advertisements giving me problems. And, you know, it, it makes me happy and gives me that little bit of peace of mind to know that I'm not going to have any issues. I've owned a Mac um, continually since I graduated high school. Um, so for the last, and even prior to graduation, I think I was a senior in high school when I got my first uh, MacBook, and um, never once had an issue. Um, anytime I ever had a hardware problem because something happened and it might have been dropped, um, anything like that, um, Apple always took care of me. So I'm going to stay loyal. But back to uh, Blitz and Arc. Um, you know, I really enjoyed his gameplay there. I had seen his gameplay for other games. I don't remember what game it was. Ooh, hello. Um, but I had seen his gameplay for other games and enjoyed it. Never subscribed or left a comment or any kind of a, a way for me to know um, how to get back to him. And uh, it, was, it was cool to get to see a familiar face that I'd already seen there. And uh, I watched his short series. Hey, it's daytime. And um, I really enjoyed it. And uh, so, um, but uh, right after I kind of posted in the Let's Play subreddit um, saying, hey, I think I want to do this. Um, does my setup look like it would be usable? Sorry, I'm going to stand up and move some things here. I kind of just walked in the door and, and didn't make any preparations. I just said, okay, I'm recording. And walked in the door, booted everything up, and now here I am. So I'm sitting here on my wallet, and my legs are going to sleep, and it's a bit of a mess. But um, anyway, Blitz had commented back and, you know, gave me a bunch of uh, kind words and uh, gave me some advice and, you know, to set realistic goals for myself. And um, no matter how hard it gets, you know, keep at it because it's rewarding whenever you finally get recognition. So I uh, thank you. Blitz, if you're watching, um, for those kind words, you definitely, um, I, I still at that point was, was trying to figure out if I wanted to do this really or not, and uh, you definitely swung me in the direction to give it a try. And I'm absolutely enjoying it, so um, thank you for that. Um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, you know, to already have, after not doing hardly anything to advertise it other than just tell a couple buddies, you know, I'm getting some hits, and I don't know if it's <laughs> all of my buddies watching multiple times or what but um, I only told a couple people and I've got you know 20 30 views on each video um, I think I don't know I'll have to double check um, I could be wrong and I'm not rewatching this continually um, which I don't know if YouTube has a, a filter for that where it knows if I'm watching my own content but um, I'm not spending a great deal of time sitting here watching it. Like, you know, I'll, I'll watch like the first five minutes of each one just to make sure that, okay, everything looks good, sound levels sound good, YouTube player's not too dark. And after that, I just leave it. So, I'm going to go ahead and make armor. And after I make armor, I'm probably going to go ahead and cut this episode. Um, maybe we'll tackle the, uh, I know for a fact we're going to tackle the rest of this cave and get those other diamonds. Um, but we'll probably end up doing that on another day. Um, I might upload both videos today. I don't know. It depends. Um, it's been taking a very long time for me to get uploaded. Um, I don't like that at all. Um, the last video, video two, was about 30 minutes, and it took me almost four hours to upload. Um, so I don't know if maybe there's something that I can do in my retouching or my retouching, my post-processing and editing to fix that issue. Um, I'm sure there probably is, um, but I um, we'll, we'll see. Like I said, I'm learning, and uh, don't hate on me for trying to learn.
go ahead and get a shovel there. Um, I don't have anything to make an axe, or um, I'm sorry, a bow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep with the stone sword for now. Um, all right. So I've got my armor. I'm all kitted up, ready to go. And I'm going to do this real quick. Give me some wood. All right, go ahead and make another chest just to go ahead and get some more space in here. All right, and everything looks good. Um, I did put the, I didn't say I was going to do it, but I did put the texture pack in the description for last week. I'm probably, or last week, last episode. I'm probably going to do that again here um, today. And um, it's just Sfax, pure BD craft. Um, this is an older version, actually. I'm probably um, going to look at some of the 3D options that they have that I saw after I posted the link and see about maybe doing some of that so this gameplay would be in their most recent stuff. Um, might help bring some people in if I have it tagged that way. So um, I guess this is going to be it for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, be sure to come back and check out the rest of my content. Hopefully I won't be stammering on like a, a drunkard, I guess. I'm just kind of talking for the sake of talking. So, But um, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Um, have a good evening. There might be some more coming tonight. Um, look for Command & Conquer General Zero Hour on the channel. It will be coming. Um, that is a fact, possibly tonight even, so or tomorrow. But um, thanks for watching. This is T.S. Wolf, and uh, have a good evening.